Hey everyone, so I am about to install the down pipes on the M2. They are uh, VRSF Catalyst down pipes. Um, so originally, like I bought them with everything else from VRSF and was going to put them on the car. And then after hearing the car with just the active auto mid pipe, um, I liked how it sounded. It's like not too loud. It just sounds clean and like decent. Uh, doing catless mid pipes makes everything a lot louder, a lot more some, sometimes raspy. Um, and uh, like depending on the car, it can make it sound throatier sometimes, which is like normally good, but raspy is not good. And the S55 motor is known for sounding like a fucking Honda whenever you do stuff to it. So um, don't want that, but. I had pretty much the same setup on my F80. I had Catalyst down pipes, Active Auto Works mid pipe, and then stock muffler. So the exhaust on the F80 and F82, like the M3 and M4, is a little bit different than the M2. Those are identical. Um, and then the M2 uh, has a completely different chassis, so completely different uh, exhaust setup. Um, so. But on the M3 it sounded good, on this I still think it'll sound good, it'll definitely be a lot louder than stock downpipes, but it'll still sound good hopefully. So I don't really care about the noise level as long as the noise sounds good. Um, I think an issue that I'm running into uh, with tuning and everything is that with the stock catted downpipes, um, it's not getting the right flow for the straight 85 and running corrosive fuels like that can like deteriorate uh, catted downpipes like the um, the material that the downpipes are made out of and those can if you have like a straight pipe exhaust just cats uh, they can end up like being eaten away and then just like flying out of your exhaust which is whatever but when you have mufflers and other things in your exhaust setup still, um, it can cause problems, get things clogged, do whatever, um, and cause like back pressure issues and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to get rid of them to make sure I don't have to run into that issue ever and uh, just clean the exhaust system up the rest of the way so that uh, tuning for E um, is better. So about to... Uh, uh, I was doing some troubleshooting uh, just to make sure that it was the downpipes that are causing the issue. There's no boost leak. I checked the spark plugs and they're all perfect, so I think that's like the only thing that it could be. Um, unless like my injectors are already giving up, which I, I don't see that being the, uh, the issue. So um, uh, I already have a little bit of the car taken apart, uh, it's the engine may taken apart. So I'm going to back the car up real quick, uh, take off the things that I had to put back on to drive the car around, and then uh, jack her up. All right, so um, last night Kippy decided to go out and record and take photos of people drifting and fudged up his camera. Better. Okay. Um, so missed a little bit of what I did. I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, to get the downpipes off, you have to undo the O2 sensor harnesses. So to do that, you have to get a bunch of stuff out of the way in the engine bay to get to them underneath like the secondary engine cover. Got those off, lifted car up. Now I'm going to be going under, uh, taking the, um, the belly pans off, undoing the mid pipe. I shouldn't have to take off the exhaust or anything. I'm gonna undo the mid pipe and um, and then start uh, taking out the uh, stock down pipes, and then we will be able to swap these boys in. So I had um, a uh, a dude's M3 that I did the down pipes on, and he also got VRSF. Uh, 
down pipes. I don't know. I want to say that he brought them to me like open, so I don't know if it was VRSF or if he actually misplaced them, but he lost his hardware. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. Anyways, we got hardware. So new hardware and new down pipes. So this boy goes on first. It's the one to the turbo closest to the front of the car. And then the shorter one is the one further back. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get under the car and get the belly pants off and then start moving stuff around. So we couldn't get the down pipes out without uh, taking a couple of hangers off from the mid pipe. So one hanger. One hanger. Singular. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Hi people, I'm here to tell you that we uh, checked everything for uh, exhaust leaks and everything's good, so I'm going to be putting the belly pan back on. Yeah! That's what Kibby said to say. Yeah, say it. he said it. Good job.
not bad. No, it's not. It's not too bad. Nice. So you happy that we uh, did the down pipes? Yeah. I mean, it'll be better for tuning. That's the biggest, uh, biggest priority. All right, so she's all buttoned up. Everything's back on. No new exhaust leaks or anything. Um, sounds a lot better, a lot louder, but good. Um, we're going to go get some new exhaust clips, five eyes and stuff, and. Um, if it's still running weird on the E85 tune, I'm gonna, we're going to drive around until we run out of gas and stop, fill up with 93 and flash the just off the shelf boot mod uh, stage 2 93 tune for the catalyst down pipes and everything. So um, uh, that'll, that'll clean the fuel system out, clean the injectors out, as well as help diagnosing whatever issue the car has right now. Um, it just has like a little bit of a stumble and on the E5 tune, it feels like it's not making as much power as it should be and it kind of dies up top. So I uh, thought it was the cats, got rid of the cats, gonna see if it was the cats, hopefully it was the cats and we can continue progressing uh, back on E85 once this uh, the tank of 93 runs out. That's normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Some sonic boom stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. Yikes. <laughs> it's a good thing I have the suck sauce, like, off there. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I, oh, Imagine, geez. like, straight yeah. pipes. What are we doing? We're putting tips on exhaust. What are those? Active Auto Works tips. Why? Because they look nicer. When? I don't know. Maybe today. I don't know. Mm. It's tight. How? By slipping them over. Where? You're on docking? The, on the exhaust. So, a block of wood and a hammer. No. So it looked just like that. Yeah. Blast pipes. Well, I'll also. No, that's pretty good. That's good. We've got the new tips on the car. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and we'll uh, see how she sounds.